right, good evening, everybody. Happy Hump Day. This is Dynasty's DM, our second segment. So if you guys didn't make it for the first one, then guess what? We're back, and we will be back every Wednesday at 6 o'clock. So when you are getting home and relaxing, or if you're already at home because everybody's working from home now, you know, you can just tune in at 6 o'clock, get you a glass of wine, and listen to what we're talking about with the Dynasty DM. Again, a direct message for those of you guys who may be social media illiterate when it comes to the conversation. So on this segment, we will be talking about the exes because I've been having some people that have some complaints and some people think it's all good to still have the exes around in the new relationships that you're trying to establish. And some people think the exes need to get lost. You know, y'all can marinate on that. I want to introduce my guest co-host, Mr. MJ. I brought him out from behind the scenes. So again, he's back again in the building yeah, and I'm happy absolutely. he's joining us. Thank and you, to my you, left, we got you. Mr. Zoe of Natural Born Hustles bow. Entertainment. We, do, we will get we to him. I'm one of the, the baddest producers that I've had the opportunity to work with, if I may say so myself. Thank you know, awesome. so, <laughs> due to Mr. MJ. So yes. you got some extremely hot. If y'all missed the segment last week, we had Mr. Extremely Hot himself, John Davidson, the building so that's what we talking about we keeping things extremely high we gonna keep it going mj tell extremely them about high. yourself uh i'm in feminine television in atlanta uh i'm the only minority vendor in film and television in atlanta uh we service every network marvel uh netflix tyler perry we do all a bunch of stuff with them uh production all kind of things so i'm blessed in that right um, I currently have 43 employees that work for me, uh, and we need for COVID to go away so we can go back to work. Uh, uh, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely hurting the, uh, the environment, but it's okay. Uh, the spirit, the source, God, Allah, whoever you want to call him has a plan and we're going to just walk it down. We're going to walk That's it right. down. That's and I right. want to thank Miss Dynasty for allowing me to come and, and be part of this, uh, this whole situation. Thank yes, you so much. Awesome, Arch. awesome. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. Glad mm -hmm. to have you, and I'm glad you agreed to be here. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so over here to my left, Zoe, you yes, know, yes. first of all, before we even get started talking about natural born hustlers, which, you know, I mean, it say less. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Say it's less, you know, yeah. exactly. Here we go. <laughs> but day. what's in the bag, man? Oh, man, you know, <laughs> these are the most... Oh man, these are just awesome. Awesome. Like, uh, 400 milligrams of THC mm. uh, oh, infused my pieces. God. And, you know, <laughs> so you can get these. Oh, the I'm sorry. <laughs> you can get these from anywhere you choose, you know. <laughs> but I, I definitely have them for you if you need them. But, yes. No, I use these as a, seriously, as a, like an antidepressant. Uh, okay. And they help with back pain, okay. you know, all that stuff. So, And it keeps me very, very calm. I haven't been to jail in a long time. We appreciate so, that. Yeah. We glad about that. I'm, I'm really happy, happy about yes, it because yes, you know, I got praise, these hot yes. tracks. Praise you know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, praise the Lord. Yes. You know. <laughs> yes. Like, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, we don't need that talent to yes, be caged up. All, you know what I'm all, saying? Not at all. That's look, fact. you want a garden salad that's infused? <laughs> please look into MBH. Uh, they are they are pumping out garden salads. You know, just with cheese on it that's infused. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying right now, out loud. If y'all can see. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so, I so you can eat healthy you can salad eat healthy and get and lifted get at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about you be eating your salad and you turn Chinese <laughs> at the same time. You're like, hey, what's up? I can't see you. Yeah. I can't see you. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, man, we, you know. I'm talking about tore up for the fuck. Anyway, I'm sorry. We happy, though. We happy. You know, like, I'm that's sorry. right. When, yeah. when, when you on the candy, no problem. No you, problem. You look at yeah, life totally different. It's just yeah, great. Totally different. You look at everything great. totally Beautiful. different, man. Lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I can't, I oh, can't man. do the candy. Just, I can't do any of it. Uh, yeah. yeah. If anybody know anything about Atlanta, we're not far from the highway. If I did, <laughs> if I did one of those pieces of candy, I would be on the Channel Two News trying oh, to catch man. a flight on oh, Two Eighty Five. I'd be oh, standing man. right there trying to catch a flight Yo. on Two Eighty Five. <laughs> I would be. 
Standing on two hands. Ooh wee. He be acting like Martin. He be acting like Martin. I'll be on that extremely high. Ooh wee. He got some nowhere happen. Extremely hot. What happened? Ooh wee. Right. 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 You know, nice. um, went through a lot of family issues and mm-hmm. things like that. Get myself back together, and now I'm finally back out, ready to brand and market, shoot for the stars. I'll see most awesome. of y'all at the top, and the ones I don't awesome. good look. You know, you and I've been working on some really, oh, great, yes. really great songs, yes. really great songs. Yes. So hey, when y'all get a chance, y'all definitely check Dynasty out. Our performances is oh man, crazy, like straight up. Straight I agree. Crazy. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. So. you know, we do um, production. For you know, music, movies, whatever you may need, you know, jingles, awesome. uh, songwriting team. Uh, awesome. We have live production. Uh, we actually just uh, opened up another entity, um, getting the license for that uh, management. Like we're gonna take on some, you know, independent artists. I don't really want to deal with a lot of major. Mm-hmm, you know, I want to mm-hmm. take on independent, mm-hmm. teach them the business mm-hmm. behind. You know. Because a lot of guys get out here and, and, and take that money and get screwed. That's right. You know, That's right. Um, and don't know anything about business. That's right. So, uh, mm-hmm. Luckily, I have friends like MJ, you know, who's been Thank all you, over, sir. you know, doing all kind of stuff and introducing me to people, you know, myself. And, you know, I'm learning a lot from him as well. So I just want to be able you to. You said his name, he got all nervous and yeah, started spilling nervous, water yeah. and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But you I mean, saw the comeback, though. Did you see the comeback? Yeah, I went yeah. by the, the town like, I was prepared. I was yeah. prepared. Oh, oh man, you got napkins <laughs> coming from everywhere, bro. Like, what is that? <laughs> I was prepared. I already gave you mine, but my donut is still on it. So <laughs> Let I'm me sorry. make this clear. If I'd had a piece of candy, the water would have went all the way across the room. It would have just spilled right here. It would have been, it yeah. would have been spilling all over. Anyway, anyway. But yeah, I, you know, I just really, I really want to give back to the kids. You know, uh, the youth is where awesome. you know, everything yeah. is at. You know? Amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's you know a little bit about us. Awesome. Really good. And what y'all don't know is this. I met Zo through MJ. Yes. Right. You know, yes. so that's how this extremely hot trio came Connected. together. Yes, you yes. Know. yes, yes. You yes. Know, I saw her perform at this location here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it's funny because we doing a production, we got a production going, and I was tasked by I think Zoe and another producer that's part of the show to find talent for this particular production <laughs> the yeah. same exact day. Uh, I think it was earlier that day. It was like, yeah. MJ, you're a producer. You need to find talent. <laughs> I said, who I need to find? <laughs> yes, you do. You need to find talent. So I go out, and I'm just minding my business. Just, just minding, minding my business. Yeah. And this young lady, was they 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 call her. They They kept asking her to come up. Uh, at this point, I, I had no idea her level of skill or talent or anything. Yeah. I, whatever. So went up there, had the entire audience in shock. Like people was just stuck like Chuck. And <laughs> I was I was in the back of people. <laughs> uh, that's really what got me like really intrigued and interested because I was watching the reaction of people from behind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like how they were reacting to her. And I was like looking around like... Wow, <laughs> you know, and, and then she did her thing, and when she got off, people just was, you know erupted, and I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do what Zoe <laughs> and the rest of the producers tasked Told me, me to, to do, do right? and find talent. And I went over, and the, the hey, rest I, is history. Look, man, I knew she had it. She, I brought, I invited her over to the studio one night, and yeah. we was having a writing session, and she like before. I can't do it just sitting down. I got to stand, stand up. Down. I got to perform. <laughs> Yo, like if you know, uh, if you know real talent, like that's real talent. Real right. talent has no problem with you. Put them on the spot. They don't care. They're just gonna make the magic happen. Right. And bro, when I tell you, she stood up in front of it was like other, uh, four other writers down there. She like she just you know she give. I'm like. Right, like, this lady is fucking. <laughs> right, we are in front of an audience yeah, right now. Like, I don't care if it's just me in the wall. Just, you know, she doing a five heartbeat moves and everything. There I'm like, right. I don't care, you know. And you have to say one thing. It's in the hills. It's in the hills. I got to have my heels on. It's in the hills. We on the last 
segment yeah. last week or whatever how I work. Uh, the heels. She has to do it. She got I gotta have my heels on. It can't it, 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 Not with nah, the shoes no sneakers. on. Yeah. I ain't wearing no, no it's flats. It's in the heels. Straight, straight, man. But you can tell a real performer, though. Yes, yes. Straight up. You yes. <laughs> I was like, in the heels. Do you need to take them off? No, I need to no, put them on. No, I need yeah. my heels on. Yeah. I was, I'd work around in these. I could play baseball no, in these heels. Saying, oh, to it, man. I can run track she in these heels. You know what I'm saying? She straight get to it. So I love it. Any clothes out there that looking for performers? <laughs> All over now. Yeah, yes Absolutely. Yes Absolutely. Yes with his tracks, which is phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. Oh uh, my and gosh. her. And yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm moved by the spirit. Uh, and I felt like this was going to be a great situation. Yeah. That's why yeah. I was honored to be in a position to uh, be placed to, you know, introduce them. Uh, and and yeah. to my knowledge, I really haven't heard anything yet, but I hear... Uh, that yeah. it's going to be great. And that's oh, yeah. all that matters. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to see the outcome yeah. of it. So. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know we, we, we got to keep moving, but I just have to say this. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of artists out there that's not really... Okay, let me say this. There's artists and then there's performing artists. Mm -hmm. And if you take those and you blend them together, then mm -hmm. you get a Michael Jackson, you get the Diana Rosses, you get, you know... The old school, you get to bring mm -hmm. that energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. missing that right yes. now in the yes. game. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm going to tell you like this. I've done songs with quite a few individuals, and it's only been two artists that I can say that can cross over from R&B to pop, from pop to country, come back to R&B to pop, <laughs> and she happens to be one of them. <laughs> right. So mm -hmm. if you producers out there, you got some really dope country, pop, rock, Whatever, get at me, cause man, we got it. We can we can plug you in, yo. Mm -hmm. We can yeah. plug mm -hmm. you in, cause Dynasty mm -hmm. do her thing, yo. Straight yes, up, do. straight up. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you, thank. Well, you know, I have to say it was awesome that MJ <gasps> actually Excuse me. in that short period of time. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I was choking on the, the water I spilled, uh -oh, but okay. He done, he done ran, cleared the room. I done cleared the room with the COVID. But MJ, right. in a very short period of time. <laughs> recognize some things in me and i tell you when we spoke because actually we kind of bombarded his uh area yeah. at um the location he was at me and a young lady but he was really nice and we found out we was from the same area he's from philly i'm from jersey and we connected on that vibed on that and um you know so we just chilling having a good time yeah. and like he said they ended up chanting for me to get up there to perform mm -hmm. at the spot but for him to put this connection and make oh, this yeah. connection. And he said, I, and you know, cause we were on the call together yeah, yeah. and he was saying, I really think that something beautiful can happen, can happen yeah. with you guys. Yeah. I just, I see it. And that was just him seeing me perform somebody else's song. I my own stuff, yeah. you right, know, it was right. a cover song mm -hmm. and just get up there and take over the way I did. And a lot of people are like, Oh my God, you know, I never thought that you had that type of thing in you, but for him to identify, he didn't know I was a great writer. He just right. said, you know, I just think, you know, you got that pop thing. You can, you know, you can cross over, mm -hmm. you know, country. Yeah. He was yeah. like, I think this is a producer that you need to work with. Yeah. And right. he motivated me because sometimes as artists, we need that extra motivation because yep. exactly. we all mm -hmm. get in that little thing like, can I, can I really do this? You know what I mean? It's like. That one person sometimes that you need to just push you push more, spark. give you that extra yeah. spark to say, mm -hmm. you know, hey, look, I didn't you know, mean, you can shock people with what you're doing, <laughs> yeah. you know, and yeah. it was like, man, you know, it makes you feel so good and you just want to keep going. And then meeting you and getting your, when I got your tracks, it was like, what, a Saturday or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the time I was, I was calling you singing songs to him, I yeah, think I had literally wrote like, like three. So I was like, "Hey, I got something for this." I was like, "Hey, I got something for this too." You want to hear this hook? Yeah. He's like, "He's like, oh, she, I let mean, me call you back." <laughs> I'm like, I, it's, it's another artist, J Two O, that um, I had signed on my label. He that's why I say it's only two artists that I've ever met. Man. Yeah. Get yeah, right to it. Yeah, yeah. Like, his, his music just it just it's like again yeah, gonna, it's we, like we, a musical marriage made in heaven. We coming like I, if, oh, you, yeah. if you haven't felt it, like the 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 Jermaine Dupri, like I, I'm coming. Like I'm, when when I tell you we coming, we coming because with working with artists like yourself, you know, a uh, couple other artists like DLG Schooly, um, you know, just 
man, from pop, rock, country to rap, the trap to whatever nice. you need. We nice. got it. We got it. Awesome. You know, it, it, we, oh, man. Mm. And one of the things up. I will say, and, and you're not the only person, I've, and you may have heard a lot of this too, people are missing that element of that entertaining artist, yes. the performing artist, that mm -hmm. I want to go out and see a show, I want to sit down and be engulfed mm -hmm. in this performance the entire way where they leave going, oh my God, that was like the best thing that I've experienced. And a lot of people, even industry people, mm -hmm. I've been talking to some folks, it's missing. you know, they're like, yo, that's missing. You mm -hmm. know, you're losing yeah. that. I was speaking to a lady that has done some phenomenal things and she was talking about, um, she mentioned, you know, another artist, Tony Braxton, and she was saying like, you know, you don't have to go and be, you know, for the 25 and under. You still got an audience that's Man, thirty what? plus that is hungry but for we, that's been that, running. right? Exactly. Right. It's right. just dare to be different, get out of the trend, yep. and say, "Look, we got to go back to that." Yeah. You know, that, that's what I specialize in. I'm different. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. different. Like yeah. I don't, I don't want my, I don't want to be compared to no other right. producer. Right. Don't put me in a box. Right. Exactly. None of that. I'm exactly. outside of that. I'm unorthodox as hell. Mm -hmm. Very unorthodox, and I appreciate that. You know. Um, but yeah, we missing that awesome. in the game. So let's get to this direct message. And I want to get you guys, since we got the uh -oh. guys and I'm the only lady in the building. So mm. <laughs> on yes, the set right now, right now, you yes, know. You are. So, but it seems like the conversation with, you know, people dating or getting into other relationships. And now it seems like a lot of people still have some connections or like affiliations with their exes. You know, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like you would want your lady to be continuously involved with her ex-man, you know, and I ain't talking about like kid wise, like, you know, maybe you got some kids and y'all got to communicate about the kids and that's where, and, and, and is that all the communication is like, how do y'all feel about that? Have y'all experienced that yourselves? Have you talked to other people like that have had issues with that? And I've heard it on both ends, men and women. Yeah. So what, what do y'all feel about that? Yo, go ahead, brother. Oh man, this is a great topic for me. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Honestly, me personally, I don't have, I'm not a jealous guy, so, you know, as long as you're keeping it, you know, for what it is, I don't really have a problem with who the hell your friends are, you know. I think a woman that don't have friends. Uh, well, when you say for what it is, what do you mean? I mean, you know, if, if you and I are supposed to be in a platonic relationship, you know, I'm expecting you to be just what we saying we're going to do. Right. You know, if something, you go outside of that, then, you know, uh, other things happen. Exactly. Uh, exactly. You know, so uh, I don't have a problem with you know her and her ex. I don't. I don't believe. I, I think the problem in this is just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Mine. You know. Um, I think people are too sensitive. Mm -hmm. You know. I think your America has become so oversensitive with everything. You can't mm -hmm. say this word. You can't do that. You can't have this friend. You can't have that friend. You know. And I think as a culture for us as blacks, you know, once we realize that, you know. You don't have to subject yourself to everybody else's opinion, right? You know, um, but to, let me get back on subject. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I got them going. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I, I just think, I, in a nutshell, I don't think it's anything wrong with being cool with you. But you think if it's platonic, yeah, and like, there's no, hey, let's go hang out. Let's yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you know. See, okay, let me let me just describe the situation. You. You can be in a relationship with a person and thinking that it was going to be something great and, you know, out of this world. And mm -hmm. it's not. It turns mm -hmm. out to be a beautiful friendship. Right. right. You know, so why would I not be cool with that, you know, versus me losing somebody that could potentially help me out down the line, right. you know, with anything? Mm -hmm. Why would I lose that, um, you know, just because, I don't know, somebody may have a problem or issue with it. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't... I don't see anything wrong with being cool with just, as, as long, long as, as that's, just, that's just, just that. It, and they respect it, your current yeah. situation and, and, and it's vice, and vice versa. versa. Yeah. 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 I, I can see that. I, I can see that. that. I think, mm -hmm. and I think it's up to the individual to identify that. Like I know what exes are so attracted to me. I know what exes would want to change if they can have it. Yeah. So I would know if I'm with somebody that me and this person probably would not be continuing to communicate on that level because I know that there is that still that desire to have something more than just a friendship with me, yeah, right. you know? Yeah. So what do you think, MJ? What do you think? Okay. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm a piggyback. 
similar to what Zoe was saying, <clears throat> I'm comfortable with who I am. Mm -hmm. I know myself. Mm -hmm. um, every woman don't serve the same purpose. So what I mean by that is, okay, so if my lady had an ex, I'm comfortable with who I am and what I bring to the table. If she mm -hmm. feel like she want to be with the ex again, she knew what she dealt with and what all the trials and why tribulations an or whatever. Yeah, yeah why and he's an you, ex. And then you, because I know that women only go up. They don't go down. Right. Okay, so if you went up, why are you stepping back? Right. If you with yeah. me, you right. you went up. Yeah. Right. Okay, so so what would make you step then then that's okay with me. That would mean that that's where your mentality is. Right. Okay, cool. Right. I also feel like uh like he said, I'm not jealous at all. Right. Like I'm not I'm cool. I'm good. I'm I'm ex I'm I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm like I'm all right with myself. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna do everything I have to do for the situation, but Outside of that, if you go, if you feel as though you want to go another way, okay, you know what I'm saying. As far as I'm concerned, I think now this is what I okay. So hear me out. Okay, I hear that men would be more, I, I guess, emotional if a woman went back with her ex and they so so if, so if a man met a woman mm -hmm. they get together he, right, right, he, right. he finally break his barriers yeah, it's down let right, his guard let down his, right yeah. let her mm -hmm. in but yep. she went back to the he, ex he yeah. would be more, more yeah. emotional I can believe about that. it yeah him yeah yeah little, yeah, little yeah. yeah. I can believe that um I agree and disagree with that only reason why is because I know that some of my exes don't didn't want me to move. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They they feel some they, they felt, you know, we I'm friends with every last one of the exes, by the way. Yeah. Every person that I've ever you dated. You said that like it was a lot, MJ. Every well, last one. Two, <laughs> one and a half. One and a half. One was a midget. One was a midget. Okay, all right, one was okay, a one and a small you know what I'm just, no, Anyway, no, 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 no. Oh, man, that is funny. <laughs> what I'm saying is... <laughs> No, they all cool in the gang. Like we chop it up, we we good. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. know about who's current. You know, we communicate. They actually give me advice yeah. okay. on things that you I do. may know, or, yeah. they, or things that I should know. Things that I screwed up with. Mm. They like, well, don't do that. Don't do that. So you know, I feel the same way you do. I yeah. really don't have a problem with it as long as it's platonic. So the risk and the respect is there. And. I'm the type of person I'll bring them in. So what? Right. So the, uh, uh, okay. So the current person, female, has to be willing to meet the older ones. Right. If she can't handle it, it's on right. her. Right. But I'm gonna let them know, and then they like, well, come on over to the house and eat. Now all these people done did with. She has to be strong within herself to know, and when they leave, I'm still here. Yeah. Yeah. If she's not strong enough, then it yeah, is what it is. Because yeah. I would be okay with if uh my my current had guys come over yeah. and, she, and 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 then and she like well yeah we dated back in college and now you're 40 years old well and, wait, wait hold up let me i gotta break i got okay good so when you say come over not to our house oh no just oh, like oh, okay, i was about okay, to yeah, say yeah, all right well yeah, yeah, i'm the no, only no, woman in this house no, 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 i got you on that one yeah, yeah, exactly i got you on that one i'm saying like okay so this is a small environment in in Georgia. I don't know where everybody else is, small? but well, what I mean is the, circle, the, small, the circles are small. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. True. If you true roll that. in true certain that. circles, yeah, you're gonna run into true. people. Yeah. Two eighty five. Mm -hmm. That's all you got. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you I'm not not gonna hang out with people. You know, somebody that I'm with. Yeah. That person that if the guy came in the room. I'm good. Like, yeah. he's like, hey, what's going yeah, on? How you doing? What's up, bro? You good? I'm good. So, let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you this. So, yeah. if That's the what person, I meant, That's what I meant. If the person, yeah. well, it's both y'all. Mm -hmm. If the person was kind of high in the ex and kind of didn't want y'all to kind of interact with them, would you feel the same way? What you mean, high? Like, hiding kind of keeping or, the ex away oh, from, hiding. like, keep, but yeah, saying, this is my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is cool. We friend. We just pretend to ain't nothing. But he, they keep you away from that person. You they don't never talk to him when you're around and all that kind of stuff. Would you feel like it's something shady going on? Or would you feel like it's all on the up and up? Well, see, me, I stay on the fuck it candy. So, <laughs> the fuck it candy helps me. 
Not give a shit. Like, I mean, I, when I say. So, y'all need some fucking candy, okay? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I extremely believe, hot fucking candy. I believe, I believe this right here. Like, yeah. you know, I'm a true believer in a higher power. Right. So, like, it, even with the whole COVID 19 thing, this is my belief. Whatever your destiny is set to be, it's going to be. There's nothing can change that. Right. You, like, you know, whatever your destiny is set. So, with that being said, Hey, if something is here, it always comes to the light. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, when it comes to the light, if it's not right, you just got to be ready for my, for my reaction. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. So exactly. I don't, I don't believe I in putting to. a string on somebody. Right. And all that. No, I'm not mm -hmm. doing that. Okay. I'm, I'm too grown, too old for that. If you're going to go out here and but do Because you, mm -hmm. you ain't on the camera. I'm honest about things with people. Yeah. I think integrity, just straight up being honest. Yeah. So if you, young men, by the way, I'm 50. I'm 5-0 out here. I just yeah, want y'all yeah, to know that. 50, Thank you, bro. 50, yeah. But he don't want y'all contacting him, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now, the point I'm making is, if I can render some advice to some of these young brothers, sh just be honest, bro. Yeah. And what I mean is, if you, you go and meet females, period. period. Now, you, you might... It might be you at a, at a, 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 a sports bar, and your sole intention was to just go watch a game and have a beer. With your with your with your with bro, your right? Yeah. That was it. You and did you met not that come out. And then the that person, the come from. right? The person sat beside you and da 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 da. Now you with someone. So you you somebody else is around. Now y'all might not be married. Y'all might just be yeah, dating but you a little while. Right. You when she when that question come up because it will come up mm -hmm. from both ends. Don't front front and be like, no, I'm good. I'm saying you know I'm saying I, bro, yeah. just say. Yeah, I got a shorty. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm out. You know, I but date. Okay, so let me ask you that. Do you right. take it further than that? Do you go, okay, do y'all just have conversation at that point and then part ways? Or it, could, you... it could go either way. If you if you honest about if you honest about who you are and what your intentions are, if you did not come to this place to meet this person, but all of a sudden sparks flying, you got to be honest with her about where you are in life like okay well i'm mm -hmm. with this person i'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing this now mm -hmm. leave it up to this grown woman to decide you say okay i personally have said i'm just going to bounce i'm just going you know i'll see you again nice to meet you and then some people here you go here's my card now that comes with okay well what do you do for a living oh well, i'm a real estate agent i'm a network I'm a, right. right so now it's okay i do I am honest with you. I've already told you that I'm, you know, I'm involved. Mm -hmm. But now my your value is not about the the fact that I'm chilling with you. Now your value is your network. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. you in the business. Da, 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 okay. Well, let's let's plug on that. And if your intentions are pure, if you're trying to right. stay right, right, then it is what it is. Yeah, but okay. you know, we yeah. are human beings we are. so you you inter flesh. Right, right. you interact with some just be honest that's all i'm saying that, and that, if all else fails get you some fucking candy yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. Get some you know, I'm, I'm, just be I'm, honest I'm, i don't i you know in my opinion well i guess this is for another segment I'll <laughs> we, we gonna I, bring you on the next one I how about that we gonna I, have so y'all want to come we gonna bring, bring facebook we gonna I, bring zone back you, on I'm the gonna next tell you segment my honest my honest truth you know i can't speak for everybody else this is my honest truth right you know i i just think like i said people are just so sensitive like, yes you know when you when you when you make yourself so sensitive and you you're easily to penetrate okay. you know so uh I try to make myself not easy to be be penetrated, you okay. know. So uh, I leave it at that. Okay. We gonna either we either gonna rock this thing out or we not. Like right. you know. final thoughts. We are gonna get some final thoughts. And MJ, you share some final thoughts. Then we want Zoe to tell people cool. where you can where they can find you at and check out NBH. And again, at the end of my segments, you will always get a link of some new music. And also, uh, Zoe has shared some music with me so y'all can be checking that out but go ahead um mj you got any final thoughts well, for us on what just on the, just the topic that we're on dm oh on the... no honesty is the best policy okay uh that's how i feel about it what it does is just keeps you out of that bullshit later so you honest with everybody you honest with the young lady that you're with up front hey i'm out here you know we ain't we ain't a hundred thousand we not 
you know, married at the hip right now. So we both out here. We both express that, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And the person that you just met. Hey, I met I, I, I you know, I'm with somebody. That way if I'm at Papa Do's or right. if I'm at, I'm out and about and you see this young lady in front of me right. and you walking by with a young man, just do the little wink joint, is- keep it moving. Right. You know what well, I'm saying? I, I, see, <laughs> I, I think you should stop and speak to me. Like You I, can do that too. I think you should stop because I'm gonna yeah. stop and speak to you if right. I'm out and I got there my right. little right. lady with me. It like, you good. know, it is yeah. what it is. Yeah. Like, hey, how you doing? You good? Haven't seen you since blah blah blah. Okay, all right, cool. be good. Yeah. Take care. That's I agree. Yeah. You know I agree. Like, thousand percent. I'm I'm not that like I ain't never gonna be. So anybody deal with me I have to understand like mm-hmm. you know I'm straight. I'm black and white. You either here no or gray. there. No gray. No gray. Area. Area. Awesome. None at all. None at tell all. Tell them yeah. where. Tell the folks where they can find you. And then we are gonna cut to to Miko Drummond's marketing minutes. Well, I'm on every. Every social media platform you can think of, you know, from free to whatever you have to pay for. You can look up Natural Born Hustler Entertainment. Um, my website is mbhent.com. Uh, mbhent everything, you know, it don't don't matter where you look. Natural Born Hustler, we here. Because we hustling. We're hustling okay. Baby. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. My man Zo. Yes, All right, Zoe, so we gonna we gonna ask Zoe. Um, we gonna thank Zoe for coming in. Thank you for having thank me. Thank Zoe for thank all you. his thank awesome you. tracks. And guess what? Yeah. Y'all gonna see Zoe on the next segment. Um, so y'all tune in next Wednesday as well, six o'clock. Um, but for now, we are gonna have Miss Tamiko come in and give y'all some branding tips. Okay. Zoe gonna sit on yeah. your your lap. Where you gonna, gonna nah, sit? Gonna <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. okay. <laughs> and again, y'all know it's coming soon. <laughs> Dynasty Live is coming soon. So Dynasty y'all make sure y'all soon. check it out. All right. Y'all don't forget Woo, about here my she man. Come, here she high. come. Look at we her. got Miss Tamiko in Mr. the building. Tamiko. What in you got for us today, Miss Tamiko? I got is on. it not cute? Oh I like goodness. that. that is so oh cute. my goodness. She's following the Dynasty Protocol, just so Look y'all know. The hair. Keep oh, it cute and casual. That's there go my. Crew and, and casual, okay, okay. Look, she got the Cute. matching uh, mask. Got to be coordinate. Got to coordinate. Got to coordinate. Got to coordinate. Got to coordinate. All right, all right. All right. So short and sweet. Short and sweet. That's what we do. I want to talk about eyeshadow. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I'm walking off. <laughs> this is not my this area. Needs to be addressed. Yes. It does need to be addressed. Okay. So, you know, everybody's on Zoom for business, et cetera. If I, your eyeshadow is the first thing I see as soon as we in that meeting, I'm going to need you to stop. Eyeshadows are <laughs> like <laughs> a weak A handshake, right? Mm-hmm. Is that right? You ever yeah. had a weak ass yeah. handshake? Oh, <laughs> can't stand it. So what do you think about after you shake somebody's hands and it's real limp? That's a... Do you yeah, want me to yeah, say yeah, that yeah, out loud? You, know, <laughs> you, don't, you don't want me to say it out loud. Dude. It ends up being the only <laughs> thing you fun. remember about that person. Yeah. You don't know what they said. You don't know nothing. All you remember is, is that weak, weak handshake. Hand yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, right, right, not right. a firm handshake. It's the same yeah. with, with crazy eyeshadow. Right. A- after the meeting, people going to call you, hey, you seen eyeshadow today? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You know, that's so true because I know somebody is talking about somebody's <laughs> calling them chrome leads right now. I'm like, God, exactly. So, yeah. Is that like, is that what you want to be known for? So think about that when you're branding yourself. What do you want people? What's the takeaway that you want people to have? Do you want to be known as eyeshadow? Do you want to be known as weak ass handshake? Or <laughs> what you want to be known as? Wow. So don't have anything that again would inhibit your brand from doing what you needed to do. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's that was, deep. That was deep. <laughs> that was well, deep. you know, I know that, that was, was kind of more of a lady thing, but I even, yes. I'll be in the mirror and it's like, if it looks like it's like, oh my God, I'm like, oh, let me like, just start all over. Because you want it to have like a subtle kind of look. You know, you want a nice finish, but you don't want it to be like, all oh, this is just like coming at you. Right. So, and sometimes, of course, it's more dramatic when you're doing performances and you're in front of camera, but when you're doing everyday stuff, you have to think about your makeup and what's appropriate for whatever daytime you're doing. Versus daytime versus nighttime, nighttime right. you know, like a lot of times women don't know the etiquette. You know, they that's don't. a whole nother conversation, you know, because right. I was taught 
a lot about makeup and the proper etiquette for daytime, nighttime, professional makeup, dramatic makeup. So I know that MJ is enjoying this particular little segment he here. He looked like he got a question. I know. Like, okay. You got something to say. We're going to let you have a moment. What, what's up, MJ? Okay, so... I, I think understand. that men. The difference between right. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't. No, I do the, the hair shake I got. But okay, so as a man, uh, we don't really. Why do women put makeup on? Just out of curiosity, I'm just. This is a question to you. Why do women Great do question, it? Man. Right. Why do y'all put makeup on? Now, is it for us or for you? Go, oh, it's go. for me all day. It's it ain't for you. for you. It's for it me. It's for you. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. for me. Okay. And makeup no, should, and, and okay. so there, should just I have enhance. another, exactly, I have uh -huh. another segment, and you're trying to go in. No, no, stuff, I don't want to, no, no. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh -huh. um, yeah, it's it's okay. for me. But okay. some people, right, you need to know the difference between, like we talked about, daytime makeup and nighttime makeup. Okay. And then if your makeup if you put on makeup to the point where you're unrecognizable, like say you yeah. out with a boo, you meet somebody, and it's like, okay, hey girl, hey girl, hey, you know. Right. Uh, I don't know how y'all say it. I don't know. Right, right, right. It's like they don't say it like that. Like they say it like that. What you talking about? Guys? What you talking about? Guys? Uh, uh, what you talking about? Another girl? No. I thought you talking about another woman. Uh, so Not like, not like that. that. Hey, hey, girl, hey, nah, girl, hey, nah, girl. Nah, nah. Okay, anyway, no. anyhow. I say, come here. I'm like Teddy Pendergraft. Take it off. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. I think you know what? Caveman. <laughs> my mom said, my mom said come she's here, woman. My right mom now. said she threw her panties up there when he oh said my that. God. I'm just saying. Lord, <laughs> Help That's what Jesus. mom said. Oh, my mom said that. Got that. We gonna bring it all back. Right. Yeah, we need to bring it bring back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah, you ask a back. question and I want to answer. All right. All right. Okay. So if you go out and you meet this lady and she has on a whole bunch of makeup, you're like, oh God, she's so beautiful, right? You don't know. You don't know the difference, right? You bring her home. She wash her, end up washing her face, or she gets wet. The makeup come off. Then you turn around. Like a whole like, different person. The? Right. Well, what that was a Jesus mask. You know, that wasn't even makeup. That was a mask. Right. So I mean. Makeup is supposed to enhance you, not Your make natural you look beauty. like a totally different right. person. person. If you right. take off the makeup, you're like, who the looks hell? like totally different, unrecognizable. So we don't care. Yeah, just, they don't I want to just make it clear for the record. I'm probably speaking for a million man. of yeah. men in this world. Mm -hmm. We do not give a damn about y'all makeup. That is not. Why are we looking? And the, the, the things that look like fingers yeah. that, that's on your face. <laughs> what is that? Oh, what the eyelashes. Yeah, yeah, we the don't. Eyelashes. Look here. Look here. So what do y'all care about then? If, okay, so it's all the Yeah, because yeah, no, 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 we no, had to no, rank no, no, this we up. Stay. Yeah, we, we still had to rank this up. up. But, 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 but that ain't it. Like, we, we, if I see you from across the room, that ain't why I want to talk to you because of your makeup. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I can assure you of that. Why? What we care about is when you open your mouth, if you have sense if you actually if you if you say something with some substance that's what mm -hmm. real men want from a woman you can be natural most men would prefer you to be natural because mm -hmm. it, we're natural okay. i did not walk up on you with makeup i i'm not going to change you. my appearance when we get to that. the house yeah. right i am i am exactly salt Same. and pepper i am who i am all yeah. day every yeah. day mm -hmm. that's what i do you know what I mean? <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You met me without no makeup on. You met me raw and uncut. So that's what we want. We want to see you raw and uncut. We just want to make sure you got something here. Really? That's really it. Well, some guys want you to, you know, not be, know nothing because they, they, they have a different agenda. Mm -hmm. right. But most men... It's like, hey, how you doing today? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah, show. I was about to get to you. Know I'm saying, uh, like, uh, okay, no. Nah. So what happened was, oh, you gonna buy me a drink? Okay, so what happened was, the drink that I bought you is still at the state store, but we can go over there and get it. I'll follow you. You know what I'm saying? And she dumb enough to go to the state store oh and get my it. God. Okay. However, or the the, the liquor store. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so like, go we're gonna bring this, we're gonna this back, we're gonna we're this back we're in. That's another yeah. segment. What do men like? Brothers, Rewind. Brothers, Rewind. Brothers, Rewind. Brothers, Rewind. Brothers, Rewind. Brothers, Rewind. Branding. That's a whole other segment. Y'all already know. Brand you already That's know. another segment. segment. Okay. I'm sorry. From, From a sorry. branding perspective. perspective. I'm sorry. Right. Branding. Branding. Right. If you I'm are sorry. on a Zoom call, yeah. you're in a professional <laughs> setting, and your eyeshadow precedes you, I'm going to need you 
to, to stop. Right. Okay, You're right. That's exactly. it. Exactly. I agree. Yeah. hundred thousand. Amen. Yeah. And the things, what you call them again? The, the eyelashes. Yeah, them yeah. things. Them things. Y'all got but it. We Tell gonna pray now. for you, Father God. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the thing is. Well, we Let's thank go, you yes. for thank the marketing you. moment. Thank you for your marketing moment. And could you moment. please tell our Facebook fans where to find you and enlist your services, ma'am? Thank you. Again, my name is Tamiko Drummond. I am the Brand Success Coach. You can find me at brandsuccesscoach.com on IG at Brand Success Coach. Peace out. <laughs> awesome. She did the peace out. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap this up. MJ, any final thoughts from you before we close out? Okay, no makeup <laughs> for no woman. No makeup Wednesday. Look, put, uh, remember, no, what's the name of the brand? Yeah, boycott the brand. Oh, oh my brand. gosh. Max, oh boycott my gosh. Max. Who the hell is Max? Boycott Max. Max. Go to his house and smack Max. him in the face. <laughs> Okay, so with that being said, we are going to see y'all next Wednesday. I'm Dynasty Smith with my guest co-host, MJ. I really brought him out. You can find me on IG at D-Y-N-A-S-T-I-5-5. You can find me on Facebook, Dynasty Smith, and we will be back on next Wednesday. We will see y'all soon. Thanks for tuning in. And send me Great your job, direct guys. messages. Great I want to know what y'all think. Great thank job. You. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Where my girl?